Hey everybody, welcome to In Over... Um, crap, what, what do I call it? Cut. Hey guys, welcome back to In Overhead. Um, we've got a really good one for you guys today. Uh, meaning of life. That That's actually a very interesting um, um, topic. And I, I can only assume that you guys clicked on this because you were obviously curious as to what I've I come up with. Uh, fair disclaimer, I'm not a uh, philosopher, um, but from, again, common sense, which is the general idea of this show, um, I've come up with uh, something that's potentially a meaning to life. So, with that, keep an open mind. Keep an open mind, listen to the end before you ask uh, questions, before you click away, because I I know you clicked on this for a reason, whether or not that would be curiosity, fun, or a mistake. But even if it was a mistake, stay here, listen to me, and it'll be worth your while. Okay, now with, with that disclaimer out of the way, <clears throat> um, there have been a lot of thoughts on... Things like, what could the meaning of life be? And it's usually a joke, oh, it's like a ham sandwich or something, like, something stupid like that. Um, but people say stuff like a happiness or a love or some like abstract emotion kind of thing. Um, so I'll, I'll start with completely debunking both of those right now. Um, first, like... The reason it can't be a ham sandwich or any tangible, intangible, any tangible object such as money. So money is not the meaning of life, because well, money gets devalued, money gets spent, money gets stolen, and when you lose money, you don't die. Your life doesn't stop having meaning. I mean, some people can live some rather fulfilling lives without money, without gobs of cash. So that means that money cannot be the meaning of life. Also, an abstract emotion like joy or loyalty or love can't be the meaning of life because it's more or less uh, like, let's just say people say it's a joy. Joy is the meaning of life. Um. Well, what happens during a funeral? What happens in the times that you're not joyful? Does your life at those points have absolutely no meaning? Unless you're joyful all the time, your life doesn't have any meaning. That doesn't make sense. Neither does the whole love bit. Oh, if you're not in love at all, every point of your life, you have no meaning in life. So it, it, an abstract emotion can't be. The meaning of life because we're, we're made to experience a range of emotions there's a reason we have all of the emotions and it's because we're going to feel all of them in our life and the idea that one of them is the entire meaning of life I figure we would have come up with that a lot sooner so <clears throat> Uh, I'm going to unveil the meaning of life to you guys right now. Uh, again, listen to my explanation with an open mind. Uh, listen to the end because it's kind of a complex topic to talk about. And if you click away after 30 seconds after hearing it, you're not going to get the full reasoning behind why I said it. You might still be confused. So I encourage you to stay right to the end. Anyway. <clears throat> The meaning of life is... I need a drum roll. Oh, wait, hang on. Mood lights. Mood lights. I really can't, If I can't do this in editing, it's going to look really silly. <clears throat> anyway, the meaning of life is... Life itself. Yep. You heard me. That The meaning of life is life. And this is why I asked you to stay right to the end, because this is a complex topic. Um, I'll start with uh, I'll start with uh, 
one group. Um, like, why do we do anything? Like, what I mean to say is, why do we innovate? Why do we, why do we fight? Why, why do we do stuff? And it's ultimately to live. We hunted and gathered in the beginning because we need food, or we needed food, and we needed food in order to live. So living was the main motivation behind early survival and innovation. So we created better tools to hunt and gather, thereby increasing our chance of living and potential increased lifespan. Um... Even today, like tons of research into infectious diseases and various medical techniques so that we can live longer. They actually have a statistic out. Uh, they say the way medical science is advancing and stuff, um, our life expectancy increases by two and a half years every 10 years. So just think about that. In 10 years from now, the average life expectancy will be two and a half years ahead of what it is now. Which means in 20 years, you can live five extra years and play with your iPhone 87 or something <laughs> something crazy like that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's, that's kind of why we innovate. That's why we do it. Like, there are people talk about, oh, well, let's go colonize Mars and other... Other fun stuff like that, uh, but why, why are we doing that? Well, we realized that the Earth only has a limited amount of resources, so in order to survive and live, we're going to need to find other places to live. It's the whole main reason why we do stuff. This also, it's also in line with a lot of what uh, religious doctrines uh, preach. Basically, I'm not going to get into what religion says what, but every religion says in one shape or form that you follow their doctrines and you'll get life. Either like you'll get another life or you'll get eternal life in heaven and it's, it's different heavens, but basically you follow the doctrines, you get life, which makes sense. So hang on. Hey, sorry, I had to jump there real quick. Um, but as I was saying, um, the meaning of life for uh, people of faith and religion is that they follow the tenets and in doing so get eternal life in heaven or, or they get reincarnated as something better. They, they get life for their actions. And... It is because of this reason why I've come to the conclusion that the meaning of life is life itself, because it encompasses everything that we do as a, like humans, like intellectually. We, we try to survive. We try to keep living and keep experiencing life, because once you stop living, if you die, uh... Who cares how much you loved? Like, if you loved the most but still died, it, in the end, doesn't really save you. So, that's, that's why I've seen, or kind of thought to be the, the, the meaning of life. Uh, and that'd be life itself. Uh, I'd be very curious to know what you guys think. Uh, do you think it's life? Like, the meaning of life is life? Uh, do you think it's some complex emotion do you think it's uh do you think it's like apple pie <laughs> um but i'd be very curious to know what you guys think like what do you guys think is the meaning of life and i'd be interested to know what you think the meaning of life is and i'd also be interested to to hear what what you find meaning within your life. So, depending on whatever your situation is, I'd be very interested to sit eh, I can't talk. I'd be very interested to know like 
where where do you derive meaning for your life from? Like, what gives you that drive to go? Uh, yeah, leave a comment. Leave a comment right down there. If you like this video, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button, because I got tons more of these ideas of these absolutely crazy things that are way above my head. But I'm going to talk about them anyway, because... Yeah. Yeah. Because it's entertaining. Uh, but yeah, um, I think I'm uh, out of stuff to say, so I'll be seeing you next time. Till then, I'm Krista Kong. Bye-bye!